Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at a new feature coming to WordPress 6.5, and that is support for custom fields. When this was announced, a lot of people got excited. And I saw people comment that maybe they wouldn't need advanced custom fields anymore. And I saw other people comment that now Gutenberg would natively have support for custom fields, so page builders or third-party block add-ons might not be necessary. So since the beta is out, I decided to take a look. And what I found is exciting in some ways and a little bit disappointing in others. So let's take a quick look at what's coming in WordPress 6.5. Here on WordPress.org news, we have a blog page that's telling us what's coming. It's talking about the font library, about synced patterns, and then about connecting blocks and custom fields or other dynamic content. So here, WordPress 6.5 will finally make it possible to connect core block attributes to custom fields. Okay, and then it talks about a block bindings API will power this functionality and it's designed to be extensible enough so that you can connect other types of dynamic content, not just custom fields. It can even be data stored outside of your website. So that sounds really exciting. So I went to GitHub and I found the issue that was tracking this feature. And this is what is coming to 6.5. Okay, what they've done is they've created this bindings API. And in core, for starting out, they're going to implement it for two areas. One is for synced patterns, and the other is for post metadata, which is where custom fields are kept. But along with those implementations, the big news is that it's an API for developers. They're providing the ability for developers in their plugins to add their own bindings. Okay, now the metadata binding is limited in 6.5. It's only for the paragraph block, the heading block, the image block, URL, alt, and title, and the button block, the text, URL, link target, and rel. Only four blocks will have this enabled for a start, and there's no UI for it. <laughs> it's a developer feature, but we can get an idea how it's going to work. They've got an example here. And basically, you can create a custom field using native WordPress custom fields, and you can add this metadata binding. So I copied this metadata binding here, and I modified it a little bit so I can have my own key. Let's go and take a look at how you do this. Okay, I'm here on a 6.5 beta 1 testing site. Let's go to the sample page. And I'm going to edit it. Okay, so here's the sample page. Okay, and you know there's no custom fields here. But now if we go into preferences, we can see here is the option to enable custom fields. So I toggle that, and it says show and reload page. So I click that. Okay, now if we look on the bottom of the page, we have a place where we can create a custom field. So for my key, I'm going to call it favorite drink. And for the value, I'll say orange juice. So now I'm going to save that. And, you know, nothing's happened. You know, there's no way for it to show. But let's add a paragraph here. And then let's go into the code view. And we see here is our paragraph. I'm going to grab that metadata code snippet that I copied, and I'm going to paste it right here. OK, so here is our binding. Our content source is post meta, and the key is favorite drink. And you see there's nothing in the paragraph content. All right, so I'm going to update this now. And I'm going to switch back to the visual editor. And we see here it's got the key name here. I can't edit this. 
you know, I can't type on here and change it. Okay, I can delete it. Okay, but read only. So now let's go look at the page on the front end. And here's our value, orange juice. To go back here to the ticket that's tracking this. So we can see that right now these features are available for these core blocks. But there's nothing stopping Core in the future from adding support for many of the other Core blocks. So that's pretty cool when it comes. But right now, this is a limited developer preview, so developers can start playing with it. If we go down here, we can see this is an example of how you might do a custom binding. And you see that it has a callback. Okay, and in your callback, then you could do data validation or have code to fetch from another site or whatever. So this has the potential to be very powerful and would be pretty cool. And they say then in future releases, they can make the API used in the editor public. They'd be able to edit the value of custom fields when there's a binding, add a UI so that users will be able to create bindings directly in the visual editor, add more sources to core like site data, you know, like template tags or taxonomy data, add support for more blocks and keep iterating based on feedback. Okay, so in 6.5, this is just a developer feature. It looks cool and it's very promising, but it's not an end user feature yet. By the way, it's worth pointing out that this new custom field binding is based on the user interface for custom fields that's been in core for a long time. And it's a little bit wonky. Let's go back and look at the editor. We see here's our custom field, but just in the saves that I did in the video, it's duplicated the custom field a couple of times. Okay, so it is a bit wonky. So that's a quick look at the custom fields, binding API, feature coming, and WordPress 6.5. I hope you found the video informative and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.